Hello, good day and greetings one and all ladies and gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown 2012. Welcome back to what could become part number one of Operation Hidden Fog. And why? Because Mr. TSC's missions always tend to consume more <laughs> than one episode, unless I get really, really lucky, which rarely happens though, therefore episode number one of Operation Hidden Fog, it is going to be bomb defusal. A lot of stuff is at stake here, ladies and gentlemen. If we cannot manage to find and defuse the bomb in time, Hamburg will be gone. Not just that though, as a result we could lose Germany, as a result of that we could lose our base and team, and as a result of that we could actually lose the game. Maybe I am exaggerating a little, but still, one needs to um, what's the word, what's the word? One needs to, um, one needs to imagine, I suppose. One needs to imagine any kind of terrible scenario that could occur. And why? Because it allows me to prepare myself. It allows me to play more professional, because I know that we cannot afford ourselves to lose. In any case, <coughs> let us begin, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Before that though, I would just like to mention the following two updates, the following two news, the following two statements or whatever you want to call them. Number one, I am incredibly grateful, ladies and gentlemen, that so many of you have by now watched my little Mystery Science Theater 3000 parody. I guess I did it simply because I like to sing. <laughs> Which is quite the revelation, I know, isn't it? The truth is that I sing every now and then in my spare time, but you know, no singer really likes their voice all that much. Well, at least I don't, therefore I normally don't record anything in a serious way and then upload it. Of course, you could doubt whether <coughs> a parody of Mystery Science Theater 3000 is supposed to be a serious song or not. Still though, <coughs> I simply did it within about one hour, one morning, and thought to myself, you know, maybe the people will get a chuckle out of it, maybe they will actually like to listen to my singing voice, therefore, let's upload it, and what do you know, let's upload it, what do you know, I said that completely wrong, which is why I, which is why I repeated it, god damn it, what do you know, the people actually enjoyed it, you guys and girls, and for that I am very, very grateful. Number two on the list, let's get this out of the way so that we can finally begin. I may not be able to upload a video every single day of this month, December 2012, the end of the year. And why is that? Because I am working on a little something. I've been working on this very project for some time already, and chances are it will not get done before Christmas. Maybe I will be able to get it done before New Year's Eve, which I am hoping to which I am hoping for, which I am hoping whatever, because it is supposed to be a little Christmas special. However, it consumes a lot of my time, therefore chances are, chances are I'll need to invest a lot more of my time into it still, which means I may not be able to upload all the freaking time. I might also not be able to finish the project in time, but you should get the overall idea. I will still try my very best to upload XCOM regularly. In any case though, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your patience, thank you for listening to my words. Now then, it is time to save Germany, and good god, as I already said, so much is at stake here, it is scaring me, it is making me feel paranoid as all hell. I can't simply jump into this mission as if it was any other, no. This is a mission that will decide whether the let's play will continue or not, just like that freaking terror mission within Canada. So let's see, what do we got? One huge graveyard. Mm -hmm. There's a big structure in the middle. And our goal is to find and defuse the bomb before it reaches full power. We can deactivate these green power nodes to gain additional turns. <sighs> Jesus Christ though, look at that up there in the corner. Turns until bomb is fully charged free. Three turns aren't really a whole lot. Yes, if you um, want to live within the world of Mr. TSC, three turns might be an eternity, definitely, considering that we haven't gotten a single one out of the way yet. Still, though, only three? God damn it, that is not a whole lot whatsoever. How to approach this situation? 
Well, this is lovely. All of my team members are atop stairs, which means they will first need to climb down the stairs. Why is that annoying me? Because it pretty much forces them for a small bottleneck. It doesn't allow them to just charge in and cover the entire area. Of course, charging in like a fool wouldn't help us because there are aliens as well. Aliens. They have planted a bomb and they won't allow us to defuse it that easily, not without a fight. But if I rush in too much, I might end up triggering them. Hmm. The key to survival is right now how to activate this first node, or how to deactivate it, I should say. Hmm. Lamia Bizibi, our trustworthy sniper, maybe I should give her the honor. Because, you know, she can't move. If she moves at all, she will lose a turn. But... Hmm, actually... Why am I considering to send her out first? Well, she has the battle scanners, so that is good. She won't be able to fire if I move her down first. But at least the uh, rest of the team will be able to see the enemy then. See, the thing is, I want to let her stay on the top of those stairs. Because if another team member discovers something, she will then be able to take a sniper shot. However, what if she won't be able to? Then she can still move, but it would be a waste. She wouldn't be able to shoot. Hmm. Darling, where are you at anyway? Oh, I have you selected. How delightful. You can rush all the way to the first power node. Right now it is our primary goal to gain as many turns as possible. Additional turns, therefore. Oh my gosh. Darling, the survival of all mankind rests on your shoulders at the moment. I am so sorry, a lot of pressure, sure, but I, as the commander, am under even more pressure, because I need to order you around, and I need to make sure that you stay alive and return to base in one piece. If there is any base at all left after this mission, <laughs> you know, boom, gone. Let's do this. Let us begin. Let us throw ourselves into this inevitable massacre. Darling, I believe in you. Ahem, well... Ah, press... wait a second. Press left mouse button to disarm. Okay, I can do that, but why... Why won't it just, you know, disarm automatically? Like, why would I ever not want to disarm this power node? Civilians get evacuated automatically if you move right next to them? This doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe there is some kind of logic behind it, but I am just not seeing it at the moment. Oh well, darling, please defuse this thing. Maybe the logic behind it is that aliens will notice if I disarm slash defuse their power nodes and they will immediately rush in to deactivate it. Could be. Well, what can you do though? I can't exactly risk to lose all of my turns, therefore. Almost 10 minutes into the episode, yes, I'd say it is about time to do something. Time to disarm the first note. There we go. It seems you bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry, or, well, you know. <laughs> you still need to hurry, or, you know, Hamburg's gonna blow up. All of us will die, Commander. Your friends will get slaughtered terribly. The aliens will annihilate our cities. Germany will be completely wiped out. Will be deleted, erased from the map. But, you know, Commander, you can do it. No pressure. No, no pressure at all. Thank you, Dr. Shen. Oh, fucking thank you. Well, that worked out surprisingly well. Alrighty then, darling. I'd say it is time to throw a battle scanner. There's another power node over there. Hmm. I need to spread out my team. Who is going to be the next? What about... Hmm. Who are you all the way over here? Can't I select you? Hello? XCOM game, let me select this fella. Why are you... Hmm. Well, gee, this is awkward. Can I not select that person? Oh, there we go. Now it works. Well, I guess I was just being a little impatient. Rose Thorn. You are, I suppose, our weakest soldier. No insult intended. No offense. But still, you have the um, lowest potential right now. 
Which isn't bad, you can still help us out greatly, but if I move you first, we wouldn't really lose a whole lot of um, opportunities. Gosh dang it. Behind this gravestone would you... Um, wait, ah, this is a dashing move, God damn it! Behind this gravestone would you... Here we are. Hmm. Nothing yet except even more power nodes. God damn it, those things are everywhere. If only I knew how large the map is. There's still that big building in the middle. Could be some sort of family crypt. Who knows? Another power node? <laughs> well, at least we know where we can find them. There are still plenty of them, which are active. I think I should try to approach the situation from one direction. I shouldn't try to spread my team out too much. Um, come on, game, there you go. It didn't allow me to select another person again. Why is that happening? Why? Why, today, within this mission, so much is at stake? Don't do this to me, XCOM. Nitori Kawashiro. Hmm, you could deactivate this bomb. However, I suppose it would be a little bit smarter to just dash in at the moment. Well, actually, no, I don't want to dash in, darling. You are going to throw a battle scanner. We need to use those efficiently though. I can't afford to waste them. What about over here? Whoa, camera, stay still. This very area over here, it's gonna show us what's between those two crypts. It's also gonna show us what's behind the corner. I could however also throw it over here and pretty much reveal the exact same thing. Hmm. Let's go for this area for now. Darling, whoa, camera, I said, stop jittering around. Darling, would you please try to throw this um, device as far as possible? Thank you. Let's get a better view. Hmm. Absolutely nothing. That might be because we haven't triggered any of them yet, though. I mean, maybe within bomb defusal missions, aliens won't be um, stationed already, but they will jump in one after the other. Maybe that scanner was a waste. But I don't care. There's something green over here. Oh, huh, another power node. <laughs> yes, indeed, as I already said, still plenty of them. I can't find any other, you know, any other way of phrasing it anymore. There's plenty of power nodes. Simple as that. Rose Thorn, do you still gotta move? No, you dashed. Nitori, we need at least one person in Overwatch. And it is going to be you. Next up, Balloon. Definitely next to Lamia, one of our most powerful soldiers. That run and gun ability will come in handy greatly. It could even allow you to dash over to a power node, perhaps deactivate it, and kill an alien in one at the same turn. Hmm. You can dash over here. Is it a smart idea though? Maybe. Nothing yet. Last but not least, Rag Zeal. Alrighty then, this might be when they start to jump in, when they appear on the battlefield wanting to foil my very plans. It's not gonna happen, alien scum. It's not gonna fucking happen. You will all die. Germany will be saved. In the theory. Ugh. Nothing yet. How amazing is that? Alrighty then, they have not yet decided to attack. They obviously noticed how we landed. How could you overlook something as obvious as the Sky Ranger landing? Still though, since they have not yet appeared, it means that they are waiting in ambush. Miss hmm. Rose Thorn, you shall have the honors to um, defuse 
slash deactivate slash disarm. I can never decide. The second power node. Huh. Nothing yet still. How amazing. Fucking hell. <laughs> I am... I am maybe underestimating the situation though. I mean, after all, we are under constant freaking time pressure. Those turns up there, we will run out of them sooner or later. There we go, four turns work. again. That'll buy us a little more time, but you still need to find that bomb. Gee, listen to Captain Obvious over there at the base. Oh, my good sir, I need to find that bomb? Wow. Fucking amazing! Brilliant! That kind of strategy is outstanding! I, 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 I don't know how I would ever be able to grow as smart as you, Dr. Shen. Seriously, I don't. Uh, enough hating though. Haters gonna hate. I need to rush a little if I want to find this bloody bomb in time. And as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. TSC hates rushing. He absolutely despises it with a burning passion. What to do next? You still got a turn, Miss Rose Thorn. I believe. Yes, you are gonna move behind the script. Mm, nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. What if I am currently headed into the completely wrong direction? Maybe the bomb is somewhere over here. This area is so big. Too fucking big. Next up, Rag Zeal behind this crypt, would you? Maybe inside this big building? It's the most obvious location, but maybe that is how they operate. They are trying to trick me. They are trying to make me think that it's going to be within the most obvious building, but then suddenly it's not. You will dash over here, Balloon. Next turn you are going to deactivate that third power node. Raxeal, stay in Overwatch. We will try to play it safe for this turn. One more turn. But after that, it'll be time to rush in. Rush in like madman. Alrighty then, Lamia. The question now is what to do with you. We need to abuse your squad side to help us out. But your squad side is pretty much useless as long as you can't see a single thing. Mm, behind this gravestone for now. Ugh. Still nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Once again, only three more turns. <laughs> <laughs> this is what must be the very emotion that goes through anybody's head whose job is to defuse bombs. Like, I can feel the constant pressure, the ticking, it is there, present, all the time. Currently the situation is rather calm, fitting for a graveyard, but there is still a bomb that is about to go off. Once it goes off, the silence will make way, or make space, and move aside for the inevitable chaos. And I know, I know, I know, everything I just said from start to finish must have sounded incredibly convoluted. It just represents how nervous I am right now. I am so freaking on edge. Balloon, deactivate this fucking thing. <laughs> I take too long. Good job, strike one. That should buy us a few minutes. Do you need to comment on every single power node we defuse, Dr. Sheng? You know, the first time was alright, the second time still acceptable, but the third time it's getting a little old. We know what we are doing. Now then, somebody needs to rush in. <laughs> yes, indeed, somebody needs to be that suicidal. And it is going to be. literally. Well, she has the largest amount of health, and also she has the rocket launcher. Go for it, Miss Kawashiro. <laughs> Come on, please, show me some alien activity. As long as there are no aliens, I can't allow myself to charge in, because I am paranoid as all hell. 
we need to reach those additional power nodes ASAP. Oh yes, this is going to be a very suicidal move, but Rose Thorn, you will dash over here. Clear to engage. Oh fucking hell. We've got a thin man. Just one, mind you, but still, it's an alien. An alien that threatens our lives, threatens the existence of mankind. I do not approve. Lame ya darling. You can't see it. What a fucking surprise. <laughs> Alrighty then, everyone, stay calm. Miss Kawashiro, you can't see it either, seriously? Well, somebody can see it. Uh, Miss Thorn can. But that isn't helping out anybody at the moment. Raxiel, you can't see it either, unless you charge in. Alright, I am willing to go for it. Yes, you can see it. 63% chance to hit. Not all that bad. I think I will go for it. Simply because we can't allow ourselves to wait. If we wait, we will die. All of us. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? The Thin Man survived the shot out of a laser rifle. How fucking resilient is that guy? As far as I know, Thin Men have up to 5 HP, at least with my changes, so that shot didn't annihilate it because it passed less than 5. No, oh, Jesus, freaking. It's alrighty though, it's okay, I can work with this, yes I can. Darling, you can see it, amazing. Try to hit it with that laser pistol of yours going to see some action. The first action of its lifetime. What? Ugh, just a squad side target. Really? Seriously? Oh bloody freaking Christ. Okay, whatever. Everybody stay in overwatch. Yes, take it out darling. Uh, damn it. Missed. Yes, literally, come on. That is one Thin Man less to worry about. Brilliantly done, literally brilliantly done indeed. I am so happy I gave you that scope. Wait a second. Nitori? Does she even have a scope? Uh, she doesn't. She is the one soldier who doesn't have a scope, yet she managed to hit her mark. Darling, still proud of you. I am glad you decided to try and take the shot with the laser pistol. Sadly, it failed, but I am not gonna complain about effort. Alrighty then, what is that? Hmm. This is certainly something new. I can't recall having ever seen one of these devices before. It looks a little bit like a headcrab missile from the Half-Life universe. What could be its purpose? That isn't the bomb, right? Maybe it is just another one of them abduction devices that releases deadly gas or something? But still, it looks a little different. Maybe because it impacted into the stone and couldn't dig itself all the way into the ground. Oh well. Where is that bloody bomb? Careful now, team. Darling, you stay back there for the moment. You, Miss Thorn, are gonna continue the approach. Ah! Wow. Four aliens. Wow. Retire. Jesus! They are right next to her. They are right fucking next to her. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, don't mind me, gentlemen. Oh! Uh, just deactivating Excellent. your power nodes. That's another one down. I know, Dr. Shen, I know. Another one done. What did you think was going to happen? Another one up or something like that? Well, at least now we know that the bomb isn't inside the structure. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is that? Is this what I think it is? Could that green pillar of evil be the bomb? 
Oh my fucking god, we need to get over there ASAP. However, four thin men aren't exactly going to make it easy. Rose, you can hit two of them. However, your life is at stake. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else have a rocket? Yes, Nitori Kawashiro has one. I have an idea. First of all, Rose, you will dash out of there? Well, the problem is you can't exactly dash into safety. There isn't any good cover available. Instead, Nitori, if you fire this rocket, could you avoid hitting Rose Thorn? It might be possible. Hmm. This wall needs to die. Once it dies, other people will be able to take the shot. Alrighty then, a risky maneuver indeed, but we need to go for it. <laughs> I am so sorry, Miss Rose Thorn, but this is for the greater good. Please understand. The need of the many outweighs the need of the few. <laughs> it worked out. Flawlessly done. Beautiful. See, Miss Thorn. I told you, nothing was going to happen. God damn it though, I certainly just defiled the script. I am so very, very sorry. But if the dead knew what is currently going on, up ahead, upstairs, above, whatever, they'd understand as well. Okay then, this power node is going to be our second target. Why second? Our next target, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Balloon, you need to dash over here. That bloody device is still ticking, and I am not a fan of that. Not the best position in the world, but stay there for now. I know, I know, I know, ladies and gentlemen. TSC, hunker down, use it. But, but, but Overwatch, it's so tempting. Overwatch is so beautiful. As long as we stay calm, we can do this. They are just thin men. Nothing more, nothing less. Just thin men. I can take care of thin men. Oh Jesus. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You bloody goit! Oh my fucking god. Four points of damage. Don't you worry, you're still breathing. Still kicking. And Lamia Bizibi is ready to take the shot. Only 54% chance to hit, darling. Even though you have about 90% accuracy. <laughs> well, what can you do? You can't always um, achieve the best of results, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I don't think it does. Uh, what the hell? The only thing that matters is that she can shoot. Simple as that. <laughs> Just saved your bacon, Miss Rose Thorn. That is what Lamia Bisbee is best at. Sniping away. Always a pleasure to see her in action. Yes, certainly, always a pleasure. Rose, that was thankfully not a critical hit. Still, though, your energy has been depleted somewhat. Stay on your guard. Any penalties? Yes, certainly. Battle fatigues, weakened will. Stay a little bit, you know, away from the team. Raxiel, you will defuse this power note. Uh, there we go. <laughs> That's that zero is energy on that power node, strike one. I repeat, power node deactivated. Good, sir. Once I return to base, I am going to slap you gonna slap you so hard. Oh, you think after the fourth freaking one we haven't realized it yet? Why the fuck do you think we are doing this in the first place? And he's all like, I repeat, power node deactivated. Oh, what gave you the idea? Maybe the powering down sound effect? Maybe the fact that the thing stopped glowing? Oh my fucking god, Dr. Sheng. <laughs> I appreciate your abilities that you are capable of manufacturing such amazing tools. But I don't appreciate your wisecracking. Alrighty then. Balloon, behind this crypt. We are almost there. That fucking thing has to be the bomb. 
balloon. Careful now. Why did I call you balloon? Miss Rose Thorn. Careful now. Got something over here. Hello there. Is that the fourth of the Finmen or an entirely new one? Well, beautiful. Rose Thorn is once again at risk of getting shot. Can anybody see it? Nobody? Ah, fucking beautiful. What about you, darling? Oh, come on. They can see it. Why can't you? There should be some sort of line of sight. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Doesn't matter though. Darling, you can still assist us with... Oh, that's the reason she already shot. She already killed one thin man. I am so sorry, baby. I didn't realize. Nitori, is there anything you can do about that thin man? I don't think so. That guy is definitely gonna try to hit Rose. Don't you do it, you bloody bastard. I am not gonna allow it. In fact, I have a little something for you, Miss Rose Thorn. A gift from your buddy, Rag Zeal. It's gonna protect you. What's you up to, fella? I knew it! Ah! Oh my fucking god, he hit her again? Well, this is a different one for sure, but that fucking thin man hit her. She is behind full cover, within smoke, yet he still scored six points of damage. Oh my fucking god. Rose Thorn, one of my better soldiers, I am afraid you'll need to stay out of this skirmish for now. Freaking hell, I am not willing to lose your life. It's gonna happen though if I continue to let you engage the enemy. Darling, what about now? Here we go. She was already holding the laser rifle. Once again, uh, 40, no, 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 54% chance to hit, just like last time, I believe. Well, it worked out the last time. Try to go for it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? An applause for Lamia Bisbee. She is fucking awesome. Alrighty then, we are over 30 minutes into the episode already. But I can still do this. I can still try to finish it. Maybe I am just going to split it again if I decide to record even more. You know, if this episode goes on for too long. But still, I believe I should be able to record a little bit more. Those are all of the Thin Men out of the way, correct? Unless that guy was an entirely new one, which means there should be a fourth one out there still. Gonna stay careful. Gonna keep my guard up. Rose Thorn, all the way into the back with you. Um, how about behind this gravestone for now? Rag Zeal. I don't think I am going to risk deactivating another power node this turn. Looks like you found the bomb. Get over there and deactivate it. Oh, Dr. Shen. We have a new finally. objective. <laughs> and here I was about to say, finally, somebody decided to say something smart. But then Bradford had to freaking bash in. Had to be all like, oh yes, I'm here too. I need to say something. As always, need to interrupt the commander. Die! Yes, indeed, that is the bomb, as expected, and we need to disarm it. Three more turns. An amount we can increase by deactivating this power node. I'd say we should be able to take care of the job. Don't panic, TSC. Don't panic. Nitori. Come on, get a move on. Balloon, you will get a move on as well. In fact, you can dash behind this power node and deactivate it next turn. Rack Zeal, Overwatch, it is going to be for you. I knew it. There's more activity going on. Darius, that fucking alien scum. Oh, 
you missed so horribly, Raxiel. Why did you need to do that? Alrighty then, he is on the move. But he didn't decide to do a single thing. Sadly, this time Lamia can't spot him at all. But I have a recipe that can help us out, certainly. Rose, you still have a rocket and you are going to use it. Yes, indeed. You are going to defile the script even more. <laughs> that guy thinks he's in such good cover. Like right now, I bet he's all like, Oh yes, they will never find me behind this wall. I am so amazing. I am the fucking master of all... <laughs> Excuse me, there was a fly on that wall. I hate flies, I had to squish it and decided the only thing I had at my disposal was a rocket launcher. It worked though, took care of the job. Well, that is one crypt which has been completely demolished. <laughs> I am so very, very sorry. We will pay for the destruction cost, we will. However, the Thin Man has been disposed of and that is the only thing that matters. <laughs> Right then, Rex. That's another power node down. Gah! How stupid do you fucking think I am? Rex Zeal, I am pretty sure that you will have the very task soon at your hands to defuse the bomb, but there is still another backyard, if you will, over there that could contain all kinds of evil, nasty surprises. Darling? How far can you throw that battle scanner? Whoa, 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 camera, calm down. Hmm. Almost, but not far enough. I can work with it though, darling. There are no aliens in sight. Over here? What about now? And how the frick are you throwing these things that far anyway? Hmm. Sadly, not close enough. Alrighty then, stay on your guard. <laughs> Uh, nope. Don't press the wrong key again, Mr. TSC. It is what killed gold. Almost 40 minutes into the episode. Can we do this before it ends? Rexiel? Take a look behind this building. The structure, will you? Okay, looks like there's nothing going on whatsoever. Beautiful. Next turn, we will try to approach the bomb. There are no more fucking power nodes. There are, but they are all out of reach. Oh my freaking... Over here with you, Balloon? Yes, yes, over here with you. <laughs> what a risky maneuver. Nothing happened, but I can hear combat music. So where are them aliens at? There are more aliens out there somewhere. I just know it. Balloon, do you want to take care of the job? That fucking bomb is right in front of you. By deactivating it, you will save all of Germany, all of fucking Europe. Ain't that a special honor? Yes, I do think it is. Can you believe how much you've grown up already? Within that one mission, the first mission of yours, you got shot three times but survived. By now, you are fucking one of my best soldiers and deactivating bombs that threaten mankind. Just amazing, good sir, or good miss, whatever gender you prefer. I am so amazed, so pleased, so satisfied, so get on with it. This device will threaten the people of Europe no more. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Oh, with pleasure, good sir. Heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. Objectives updated. <sighs> of course, he had to interrupt me. He had to spoil the moment. But with pleasure, good sir, with pleasure. There are more aliens within the area. I can take care of them. <laughs> no question about it. I can take care of all of them. Aliens! Thin man scum! It seems that your very plan to destroy me from the inside out failed. Yes, indeed, it failed. The bomb is deactivated, the power nodes are trashed, and now we just need to defeat the remaining resistance. Amazing. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to end the episode here. <laughs> it's been some time ever since I uploaded a full 40 minutes XCOM episode. But hey, I need to give my subscribers a treaty every now and then, correct? I hope that you enjoyed this rather successful mission. Well, it is not yet over, but it has been rather successful until now. My humble name is Mr. TSC, aka The Shadow Cookie, and I will see you all next time when we'll return with mission Hidden Fog. Yes, Hidden Fog, alright? Hidden as in we strike out of the fog, the non existent fog to tear them apart. Lamia, darling, Rose, Balloon, Raxiel, everyone. Yes, you as well, Rose Thorn. Didn't I just mention your name already? Nitori, I am so senile. You all have done a great job so far. I am proud of you. Yes, indeed, your commander is proud of you indeed. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Signing on for now. Gonna see you all then.